the Illuminati, a mysterious order whose exact role in the story has been haunting us since they were first introduced in Dereza through their cryptic messages. While their presence seems small and often goes unnoticed, they are more relevant than they seem. He theorized that the Illuminati is the human branch of the Order of the Keepers. The Illuminati are considered to be the hidden rulers of the world in the Zombies universe. So how would this connection with the Keepers work? Both the Ancient Order of the Keepers and the Illuminati are referred to as the Order, and that's with a capital O. The Illuminati are clearly aware of the existence of the multiverse, as they helped construct a laboratory in the Alcatraz pocket dimension in order to assist Richthofen. This ultimately led to the cycle repeating, which is exactly what Monty and the Keepers wanted. What's more, a map of Alcatraz can be found in the Morgue City underground area, a site inhabited by the ancient order of the Keepers. The reporter even refers to them as a cult, which better fits with an obscure human organization than with a race of extraterrestrials. Not only do the Keepers and the Illuminati have similar interests, they have similar enemies. Is it a coincidence that right after Richthofen touched the MPD on the moon and came in contact with the Shadow Man, the harbinger of the Apothecon Elder Gods, he left the Illuminati? And why does the Warden of Alcatraz, stating his personal hatred for the Illuminati in one of his radios, worship this very same Shadow Man and its overlords? Clearly, the Apothecons are no friends of the Illuminati. So could this be because of their connection to the Keepers? In Revelations, Monty has the following quote. The Keepers, an ancient order who had been granted the wisdom to see beyond the limitations of their own realm. Even while the rest of mankind scrabbled around in the dirt, drinking their own piss, the Keepers took the mantle of benevolent watchers. From this quote, it sounds as if the Keepers were among the humans at one point, even originating from them. Monty notes that they were granted wisdom to see beyond their own realm, whereas the Keepers we know of as all-powerful, interdimensional beings already. Could these Keepers Monty talks about here be the Illuminati, a human branch of Keepers that reside in Agartha? Let's look back to the supposed origins of the Illuminati. According to some conspiracy theories, the history of mankind began some 12,500 years ago, when we were genetically engineered by aliens out of the already existing ape species. For the time being, let's just call this original alien race the Vril'ya. To our ancient ancestors, the highly advanced technology of the Vril'ya seemed like magic, and the humans of those times worshipped them as gods. During this era, ancient cities were constructed, such as Shangri-La, Akator, the Pyramids of Giza, Atlantis, and Lemuria and presumably also the dwelling that's underneath Morg City, the pyramid system under Origins. At some point before or after the creation of man, civil war occurred among the Vril'ya and Agartha, eventually leading to the rise of the Keepers and the banishment of the Apothecons, who had meddled with the Dark Aether. Most of mankind continued as hunter-gatherers, but a small group of enlightened individuals were contacted by the Keepers and granted the knowledge of the ancient world. This was the beginning of the Illuminati, whose origins lay in an alliance between humans and extraterrestrials. The Illuminati learned about lost cities such as Morg City and Shangri-La, where we encounter Illuminati symbols. One could view the Illuminati as the Keeper's human agents, secretly planning and plotting to defend mankind, the Dark Aether, and to keep the cycle going. Another confirmation of the Illuminati being tied to the Keepers comes from GK Nova, a marketing campaign for Black Ops 1. We were given a picture of the Illuminati Pyramid with the Black Sun symbol in place of the Eye of Providence. This Black Sun is the symbol of the Keepers and can be seen on their chests, as well as the chests of ancient zombies found in the Crazy Place in Origins. The Black Sun is even found on the Shangri-La loading screen. But what does the symbol mean? In the Vril'ya mythos, the Black Sun is stated to be the center of Agartha, giving off huge amounts of ethereal energy. We encountered a version of this in the map Revelations, where the Shadow Man calls it the Apothecon Sun, and the Apothecon name for it, translated, is the Shadow Star. Clearly this is the Black Sun, but if it is located within Agartha, why do the Apothecons claim it? 
think that the Black Sun is not the property of the Apothecons, and the Apothecons merely crave it. In the Revelations intro, we see the Apothecon overlords use the Black Sun for collecting rocks of Element 115, which they later blast to the Earth's surface via portals. The only Element 115 that was shot at Earth was done so in the short time the Apothecons had reached Agartha in Revelation. Through portals, these meteorite impacts were spread across the history of Earth, starting in the year 5 AD, and with the most infamous impact being the Tunguska event in 1908. Before and after the Apothecon outbreak in Revelations, the Black Sun is located in Agartha, protected by the Keepers. This is the reason they act under its symbol. Their most important duty is to secure Agartha and the Black Sun against the threat of the Apothecons, trapped in the Dark Aether. The fact we see that same symbol in an Illuminati pyramid says to me that the Illuminati's main purpose too is to protect the Black Sun from the Apothecons. Finally, in Durazendraka, the book Hidden Rulers of the World can be found. A popular conspiracy about the Illuminati reveals that it is the great organization that is behind major world events and that influences governments. This is confirmed by the Illuminati symbol seen in the Pentagon, as well as in the Ascension Cosmodrome. But for what reason do they rule the world? It seems to be that they are a coalition between humans and keepers, trying to prevent the Apothecons from reaching the Black Sun and seeding the Earth with 115. That seems to be the sole reason for their existence, securing the world from demonic forces of the Dark Aether. As soon as Group 935 started experimenting with Element 115, they sent Richthofen as an insider to spy on the process. They were watching us all the time, ensuring that the cycle continued and that the multiverse was protected.